U.S. Army Corps of Engineers is moving dirt here at Fort Irwin. The Los Angeles District continues to build world-class facilities at Fort Irwin. Construction of a new $162 million hospital and a $100 million water treatment plant are underway. Uh, what the water treatment plant is going to do is it's going to take and it's going to pump in the groundwater from the wells below and it's going to treat the water and actually provide it back to the installation. Fort Irwin Garrison officials estimate that 50,000 soldiers train at the National Training Center annually. 85% of the permanently assigned community that supports this training lives on the post. Because of the fort's remoteness, there are no direct water lines or water resources from adjacent communities to support the fort, which means that the fort gets its water from wells that tap into basins within its boundaries. Karen Technology divides the water that comes from these wells into two use water systems. DO is actually the water out of the ground. It, it, it's a little bit teeny bit. We chlorinate it to protect the people from any bugs or bacteria in, either in the system or in the groundwater. But at that point in time, it's only slightly high in fluorine arsenic. Otherwise, it meets all the drinking water standards. And we provide it to the big taps. And my predecessor said, hey, to provide this, we're going to provide the equivalent of bottled water. That's that little spigot, the RO water. And we're gonna the current RO process wastes about 50% of the water being processed for potable use. The, the current situation out at Fort Irwin is that they have, um, they only treat uh, about 120,000 gallons per day out of their average about 2.5 million gallons per day. So um, they're not treating a whole lot of the water and, it's, and that portion of the water is being used just for drinking water. Well, we're at Army Field, which is one of the five or six fields on Fort Irwin where you right now irrigate with recycled water. The nice thing about being irrigating with recycled water over fresh water is this doesn't take life off the uh, basin very much because it's a gallon of water that we already used, got one use out of it, if not several uses out of it. Now it's going in, we're going to get another, a third use out of it, and it's going to make some place that the soldiers can exercise on or we can do uh, outdoor activities or concerts on. All that's good multi-use capability, and we by using recycled water, we get that extra benefit out of it. Core contractor CDM Smith is constructing the state-of-the-art facility, which will treat water with more than 99% recovery rate that will ultimately extend the water supply at the fort. As crews dig and install water transmission lines, like these blue pipes, officials ask the public to use caution and unless authorized, stayed out of the construction areas. Here at the Corps, we not only um, you know are building a very quality project, we take safety very seriously. Uh, we just had a the contractor put on a luncheon here celebrating 28,000 man hours with no incidents. So that was a big milestone for the amount of activity that's been going on on the site. When this project is completed, Soldiers will be able to drink out of one faucet of quality water from their home. Reporting for Fort Aaron, California, I'm Public Affairs Specialist, Brooks Hubbard.